Oh yeah, smell it. Ooh, okay, here we go. All right, folks, howdy. Here I am in uh, beautiful Lexington, Kentucky, and that's Paul. Say hi. Yeah, say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> and we're, we're, do we know where we're going? I have no idea. Where are we going? See, I have it. Okay. <laughs> that's Rod. He's the uh, known as the Toast Man. We got stones. They got class. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> what was that? And apparently we're, I don't know, we're, we're gonna go taste some bourbon. Yeah, okay. I guess that's what they got here in Kentucky, right? I guess that's what they do here. Oh. They, do. they make, they make, they make bourbon in Kentucky. So, wow. That's a nice ride they got here. Toast, man. You can make this on an ambassador salary? We've My goodness. So he's taking me uh, to go have some bourbon. All right. I can't believe I do that to you on Saturday afternoon. <laughs> well, Saturday afternoon having bourbon. Uh, I could think of worse things I could be doing right now. Welcome to the Barrel House Distillery Company in Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> This ought to be fun. <laughs> we're about to, I think we're going to one o'clock tomorrow. So go in there and check out the distillery. Okay. So we don't drink first, we take a tour first. Where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? Wow, it's educational. It's educational. Remember, education is fun, right? Yeah, education is fun. All right. Hope it tastes as good as the tour is. The history of bourbon and the bourbon industry is unique. Uh, and it's it's more than fascinating. Uh, it's a very odd uh, bunch of people that have collected themselves with a common goal of making the best whiskey in the world. First of all, is everybody going to try? Is everybody drinking? Do we have any designated? Okay, everybody's got. Oh, well, that's a dumb question. Of course, we're all drinking. What? It was born. It's very, very good. Here we go, tasting it up. Substitutions for the man. Okay, we're excited about that. Oh, I see. It is sweet. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. that's good. This is what we came for, the bourbon itself. All right, here we go. Ooh, it smells good. I'm not sure that's for, is that bourbon? Okay. Hey. There you go. Hey. Then you want one That's pretty smooth. I like that, huh? Yeah? Very good. Very nice. You're going to say something like toasty something? You get the toasty at the barrel house. At the oh, have a barrel of fun. There you go. They train professionally. You want an old fashioned? This an old fashioned drink. That's a drink, right? Old fashioned? Yeah, it's a perfect drink. What's an old fashioned, Paul? It's not new, it's old fashioned. You got anything new, like a new fashion? No? I guess I'll take one old fashioned, please. 
All right, so here we go. It's an old-fashioned. Baseball and bourbon. Baseball and bourbon. And to the toast, man. Awesome. If the West Virginia Power was going to change your name, what would you like the name to be? Go. I think it West would be Virginia Masters. Masters. The Mashers? What do you think? West Virginia Masters. Why? Because it's a moonshine state. I think it should say Powers, but I'll go with the Mashers. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Should stay power, but otherwise the ultimate prize in hunting and trapping in West Virginia, Bobcat. Bobcat, okay, okay. No, Shiners. Shiners? Yeah, Shiners. Okay, okay. I, I'm out of that conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm out of the conversation too, but I wanted to hear I wanted to hear some of our, our, our loyalists here what they thought. The loyalists all say power. Let's go power! Yeah! Alright. Must be a fraternity man. I think I got the same letters on What? The no, stop! Do you sing with pie? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Feels so good to do that. Yeah, man, it's been a while. It's nice. Uh, well, I'm at Ada Alpha Chapter, Sacramento State University. There brother. you go. Yeah. Yeah, man. Delta Road, Moorhead, baby. Man, yeah, awesome. Oh, I love there it is. That, man. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you don't know, you don't know. It's if you don't okay. know, you don't need to know. You don't man. need to know. It's all good. That's awesome, right. Brother. From the bend down to pick up, I looked, saw your ankle. I said, oh, shit, that's a fraternity man. Yeah, right yeah, there, yeah, man. Nice, dude. Yeah, man. You got a what? Did you say you just got a bourbon ice cream? Yeah, bourbon, yeah. Honey, yeah, right? bourbon yeah. ice cream. Can I get a scoop okay, of bourbon ice cream? It's a bourbon ice cream here for you. Mm -hmm. Wow, it smells good. Yeah. Bourbon and honey. All right, ice cream. Nice. Okay. Oh wow. You're on it. Oh man. That's that's like really good. <laughs> However, I still need to find myself a beer here today. <laughs> I think I know a place. Okay, so this is called the break room, and apparently the break room is a place where, uh, where all the bourbon makers went after work, they'd come here to the break room, you know, for what it says, to uh, have a break, because it's called the break room. Get it? You've never seen him do this, have you? You've never seen him do this. <laughs> He's a lover, not a fighter. Oh my, what a pretty kid. You are so sweet. The bluegrass distillery. And really good stuff and they use it. Yeah. Should you be talking to him maybe? Well I should sure. Just just say hi, how you doing? How's it going? I'm Rob. Nice to meet you. Yeah, what is this place called? Bluegrass Distillers. So I thought we already established it's called yeah. Bluegrass Distillers. Oh, okay. yeah, we did. So well, what makes you guys so special? There you go. Well I'd say uh, personality, uh, the best jokes in town for sure. <laughs> I was gonna tell a chemistry joke, but I was afraid I wouldn't get a reaction. Sure, go ahead. No, that was it. That was that was a bad joke. Bad uh -huh. joke. So the tradition is always have pies and pints pizza. And after the afternoon we've had today, I could really use a good little slice of pie right now. That's, that's that goes without saying. Fans of the ballpark 
know you as Toast Man. I know you as Toast and Rod Blackstone, uh, the deputy mayor with with uh, Charleston, West Virginia. How did you start as being the Toast, Mr. Toast Man? I, mean, how, I don't know how this all developed. Well, it all started back in 1990 because I. I hadn't been going to minor league baseball games or Wheeler's games back in 1990. George Manningham said, hey, we need to go. This is fun. And we went to a game, and sure enough, it was fun. Yeah. Why aren't more people into this? So we started leading cheers. We started. And then the next year, I think somebody said, you are toast to somebody who was straight. Really? Okay, okay. So it wasn't necessarily something you came up with, but no. it's something that you heard and, and thought, that's toast. And let's cheer that. And cheer. Let's cheer that. Okay. So we started cheering it, and then 1992, the owner of the Wheelers, Dennis Bastien, said, you know, you can, you can make toast at the ballpark. If you'll sit in the front row, the bat boy can plug you in. You can make toast and wave the toast to people. So 29 years later, you're still doing toast. You're the ambassador for Appalachian Power Park for the West Virginia Power. I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> Right. Well, I never, I never told my parents I want to grow up and be a cheerleader. <laughs> but here you are, the, one of the biggest cheerleaders in the country, wouldn't you say? Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. Oh, I'm sure you are. Come no, on. But, but, but it started off, and the foundation is to cheer for the home team. Always cheer for the home team. You're 0 for 16. We're still cheering for you when you come up to bat. Nice. Well, there you go, so, man. And if if the other team's thinking about toast or something that we said. Or some funny comment that came from the funny people in the toast section yeah. around the alley. So much the better. That's what it's all about. By the way, this guy has his own bobble arm. Not a bobble head, but a, a bobble arm. Right? Flinging toast. That's that's how big of a deal he is. So we're here with the uh, owner of the Legends, of course, and, and, and an owner of the West Virginia Power. But anyway, he knows that. We know that. You should know that. But now you know that if you didn't know that. Make sense? I know it. He doesn't know, know it. I know it. You say baseball control. The question is, he gave us a sweet today. So the real question for Andy is, did you do this to shut the toast up? Oh, wow. Did you enhance it? Get a little uh, echo going here? You got a better acoustics? So it's trying to get it out there more. Really? So you yeah, want us to toast it up? You want us to toast up our legend? Yeah. All right, let me see if I can up some voice. All right, let's go power! Yeah! Oh, hi. Yes. Oh, yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. The West Virginia Power might have lost tonight. Maybe because the Toast Man was in the suite. The Power have not lost sight at having a successful season. Well, that's all from the Lexington Legends. Anyway, folks, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And no matter what you do, folks, even if you're throwing toast, remember to always have fun.